Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do part two of this page I'm working on inside of Hannah Carlson's Atlantis book. And we're just going to try to finish this up today. Um, I have these little, uh, I'm not quite sure, leaves, flowers, or whatever. <laughs> I'm going to do them. Um, I started this one down here and I brought out the Albrecht Dürer um, pencils, water-based, and I brought them out in basically um, the same color that I started the brass work with. It's Venetian red. And then I added in a little bit of Van Dyke brown, olive green, uh, ca chromium green opaque and a little bit of this really bright earth green yellowish color. And I'm going to get you down a little closer and I'm going to do the rest of these little leaves. The leaves up on the top are going to be done the same. I'm not quite sure about this bit. I may do it in the same colors just to keep these sections um, watercolored instead of penciled. So we'll see. Hold on. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to get it focused on there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just uh, put the color down and then I'm going to watercolor them all. And I'm just going to do the leaf sections down here first. So I'm going to start off with the Venetian red and add that in. Leave the centers blank. I can do these little guys down here too. Okay, then we're going to go in with a little of the Van Dyke Brown. Darken it down here a little bit. Maybe bring some of that up. Remember these are watercolor pencils. They don't show up quite like the um, other pencils until you add water. Olive, green, yellowish here. I didn't get enough back here. I don't even know if I put any in here. <laughs> I'm going to bring in a little bit of the chrome green opaque. And a little bit of the light uh, earth green yellowish. Okay, then we're going to add a little water. This is just a water pen. Uh, I don't even know what brand it is. Kuretake round water brush. <laughs> and I want to make sure I don't get too much water, so I'm going to get a tissue here. These are kind of small areas.
Okay. This one has already been done, so... Just a little more brown down there. Let those dry. Can't do anything until they dry. <laughs> so we will be back in a minute. Okay, it's almost dry. I went ahead and I did a little bit of coloring up here. It's just the opaque green, or sorry, chromium opaque green that I put down in here. And then I went over in the darkest spots and just added a tiny bit of the um, Van Dyke brown in here. Try to make it a little more um, seaweedy color. This is what I'm after up here. This one I did add a little of the uh, green that I put in here. So I'm going to be adding that in. Maybe I may just turn that brown instead. I have to decide. But we're just going to go up and finish this little bit. Gave me something to do while I was waiting for it to dry. And I wanted to test these colors out. Those are the only two colors I'm going to use in here. And hopefully they will blend to a nice coloration. Okay. If I like that color, then we're going to get rid of this little blue green here and do more of a uh, same color down here. So we will find out in just a second. Go ahead and add the water here. Hope y'all are having a good day. It's Valentine's Day today, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I had a few minutes, so I thought I'd get on here and finish this page up for you. I do like that coloration. So, while we're here, this I put in with pencil so I can erase that. Then I think I will go ahead and darken the um, reddish color with a little bit more of that Van Dyke Brown. Better be dry enough so I don't rip the page. <laughs> and then just make sure we put a little bit more of that chrome. green in there. Okay, a little bit of water. And just bring that out. There we go. I like that better. Okay, we're going to have to turn the book. Because I'm going to have to do one of these leaves up here. I mean, I'm not sure if I want to bring this color like I did up here into um, these leaves or not. 
so I'm going to leave those parts blank. And we're just going to use the two colors, maybe a little of the red. So the Van Dyke Brown here. And we're going to go ahead and add that in on these leaves too. And then the green. Try not to go out of the page like I did. Rid of it if you do because that's watercolor and it will not come off like a pencil erase once it gets wet. I know this looks really scratchy, but one, it's watercolor, and once you activate it, it'll do its own little thing. You'll find it's easier just to lay it down and let it activate it and let it do its own little bit. Because watercolor is kind of that way. <laughs> anyway, so here we go, activating it, blending it together. Boom. Blend it right into the next one. Let's get all that color going, moving. Just like that. Uh, hold on just a moment, please. Okay, we get the last leaf to do here. Boom, boom. Now, <clears throat> that's what that looks like. I know it doesn't look as dark as the one down at the bottom, but that's okay because we have pencils that are the exact same color <clears throat> in the polychromo set that I can use to darken those up. Now all I have to do is decide what I want to do here, and I think I'm going to add black into these uh, leaves here, a little black into here, so we're going to figure out this coloration. What I think I'll do is I am enjoying the watercoloring effect, so I'm going to Venetianize this here, so that's just the Venetian red, and we'll do it down here. 
and in this area here and why not in here and get that some depth and while we're doing it we're going to go up here and do that Okay, on top of that, we will put in, oh, we'll put in a little of the Van Dyke Brown in the very uh, corners of these guys, just so it's a little darker down there. Okay, then we'll add in the green and we're going to start off with the darkest green, which is the one we used here for the seaweedy kind color. And we'll add that coming up. Okay, and we're going to see how that works first. Hmm. A little bit more water coming down out of that brush. Uh, we'll start up here. There we go. <coughs> and we're going to let all of that dry. Okay, so I got out the pencils that match. Um, we have the Van Dyke Brown to go with the Van Dyke Brown. We got the opaque green to go with that one. And I have Venetian Red out here somewhere that goes with the Venetian Red. <laughs> okay. So we're going to add a little more shading to these little puppies. Uh, so we're going to go with the Venetian red and we're just going to add it in a little bit here and there. Just to bring it out a little more into the green. In some spots. Okay, go up here and do the same thing. Just add a little in those. Kind of like how light they are. Van Dyke Brown.
sharpen this. There we go. So I can get it into the little spots. You kind of have to use a light touch when you're going over the watercolored sections because the paper has been raised up a little bit and it takes more of the um, pigment off the pencil, which works for you in two different ways. One, it's easier to color, but if you put too much pressure on that, you will get a deep dark line that you may not want. <laughs> so you have to be a little lighter with your coloring. Which is a good thing for me. And my poor little wrist. If you don't know, I've been diagnosed with arthritis in my wrists, both of them, along with my knee. So it's been a little more difficult to do things and finding easier ways to do them, like adding watercolor is becoming a fun thing for me to do. Okay, now we have the um, opaque green, chromium green opaque, and I want to get a sharper point on that too. And like on these leaves up here, where we have these uh, little indentations, I'm going to drag those down a little bit more. And then just add in a little bit more of that color too.
And if you want, you can bring a little of that and brighten up these too. Okay, now we're going to have fun with some ink. I'm going to bring in the uh, Sakura pens here. Let's see how much one I have. This one's kind of the big one, that's okay. We can do that with the ones down here. We're just going to go in these lines. Exaggerate them a little bit, bring them out. Okay, I'm going to have some fun with that. Up here, we're going to do it. I'm only going to do one half of this because my battery's getting low. And I want you to at least see what I'm going to be doing up here. This last little bit here. Okay, and then this bit down here. Maybe I'll 
do those the same as this brass up here. And then we're going to go outside and we're going to add in a few more of these little dots. Just so they'll match with the ones that are up above. Uh, the one on the top up here. Just going to go around here. And if you don't like an area that is up here, like maybe you don't like that, you can add a dot right there and pull some out. So I'll be doing that up here also. I'm just putting dots around the place. Let me put the cap back on that. Got to keep an eye on that um, battery. These are going to be done with the Venetian red. And the browns. And then the greens on the and colored areas. This is uh, the light flesh. I'm going to put it in all those circles. And then go in with burnt sienna. Do half of them. this green over here. <laughs> Throw just a little bit of that color in here too. Okay, and on these black ones, I'm not crazy how those turned out, so we're going to darken this area here. Get the brown in there too. Van Dyke brown. And just deepen it there.
get some uh, I'm really trying to make sure that the battery doesn't die here. <laughs> Shoot, wrong one. I want some white. Maybe we'll just use this pit pen to add some lightness into this up here. There we go. Just lighten that up a little bit. Let that dry a little bit, and then we'll go back in with the green. The other thing I want to do is take a little sepia and get um, some shadowing in here. I'm finding the sepia, I've got three pencil cases out. <coughs> Dark sepia. Okay, anywhere that anything is on top of, the shadow goes behind it. So such as this, we want a shadow. Just going to pull it out all the way across there. Leaf sits on top, it darkens underneath. On that side too. Okay, so that's how we're going to do that part. And I'm just going to finish the other side just like this. So I'm going to leave the background uh, cream. I'm not going to do any inking or anything. I just like these little dots out here. I'll take a picture at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.